Yeah, what are you yeah, doing? D man, we got yeah, yeah, D man, doing? we got um you strawberry sorbetto. Is that alright? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I got the um sugar free sparkling apple cider uh -huh. and the um fruit. Oh, oh, they're back on. Okay, what? sorry. Back okay. Hi, how you doing? G man's just still running a little bit late. Not sure when he's gonna get here, but he promises something very refreshing for our folks with kidney disease. Now, let's get started on that roasted chicken. It's going to be a roasted orange chicken with a boysenberry sauce. So we have our chicken out here. And one of the things that I want to point out is that I do all this on a bamboo cutting board. This isn't a wood cutting board because you don't want to put raw chicken on a wood cutting board because the juices seep into the wood. But with bamboo, that doesn't happen. So when I'm done with this, all I have to do is give my bamboo a good soapy wash and it comes out quite nice and I can use it again for other foods. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put a slit in the skin. And as you can see, all you have to do is just get your fingers in under the skin and push the skin away from the meat and there you go. Are you molesting that poor chicken? Okay, there we go. Now once we have our chickens with the skin loosened, we're just going to take a plate and set them over here onto the side out of the way for a second. And we're just going to slice ourselves up some we want them a little bit thin so they fit into our chicken. These will be quite nice on the grill. If you have diabetes, follow your diet and take your medication as prescribed. Test your blood sugar level frequently, and if not under control, call it to your doctor's attention right away. Don't wait for a scheduled appointment. Poorly controlled blood sugar is responsible for 35% of renal failure. Once we have our orange slices, the next thing we do is we'll get our chicken here. Put our chicken right down there. Can I have some olive oil? Put some olive oil on our chicken right underneath the skin. We're just going to take our lemons and just stuff them right on the side in here. These are oranges. Our, well, these are oranges. You can use lemons too. Now, I understand that a lot of folks with kidney disease, they don't have the energy that you and I have in order to go through a lot of preparation for a meal. You don't have to go through all this if you don't want to. If you know someone who has kidney disease, or if you have the energy to sit there and go through all this, this is like the ultimate thing to do. But you could have just grilled some chicken, put some orange juice on it, marinate it in orange juice, and you don't have to do all of this either. You could have just baked it in your oven. This is just something that we're going to do because I'm grilled on. So we're just going to take our chicken and put it right here. We're using indirect heat, as you can tell. We have 25 coals over here. 25 coals over there, and we have this nice bed of oranges over there that we're just going to set our chicken on top of indirectly. That's looking quite nice. We'll put a little bit more olive oil on there. Maybe a little oranges. That's going to be really quite nice. And if you want to, you can always just top it off with some cilantro. All our friends with kidney disease are really going to love this treat. Now that we have our chicken roasted on the grill with our orange slices, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our boysenberry glaze. So first, can grill pup grab me a bowl? A clean bowl. A clean dry bowl. Now that we have our bowl, the next thing that we're going to do is we need one cup of fruit. You know, fruit preserves. So we're going to use, of course, our boysenberry, and we're going to get one cup. So if I have a measuring cup, thank you. And we're going to set this on just one cup. One squeegee. And we're just going to squeegee out one cup. And you can use an all fruit spread or a no sugar boysenberry jam will work just as well. One grilled dog cup. You can use a quarter cup of honey if you like. We ran out of honey, so you can also use a combination of Splenda, which is sucralose and cornstarch. And then once you have that, we're just going to put that in our bowl. And now that we have our linen, we'll sit in here linen. You can always rub it to make it a little bit looser. Take our knife, watch your fingers, cut it in half, and we'll measure one tablespoon of lemon juice. How do you do it? One tablespoon of lemon juice. They are bouts. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use one teaspoon of lemon zest. So can I have a zester? There's always one in every crowd. And we're going to zest that one teaspoon of lemon zest in here. Okay, that's that one teaspoon of lemon zest. After we do that, the next thing we're going to have is one tablespoon of rice vinegar. I'll switch off there. 
One tablespoon of white vinegar. Next we need one tablespoon of shallot. So I have one shallot, one large shallot should be this plate. Thank you. Let's cut that right up. Now that we've diced up all of our onions, we're just going to go ahead and put it in our bowl. I really think this is going to catch on as a fashion statement. <laughs> it's the next thing in headgear. Alright, after we got our shallots in there, next thing I'm going to do is one teaspoon of ginger. So we're just going to put some ginger in here. Yeah, I like a lot of ginger in here. Be careful with knives. We're trained professionals here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, after our ginger, next thing we need is a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Okay, quarter teaspoon of allspice. Just a couple shakes. A couple shakes, that'll be good. Next thing, the very last thing, we're going to need one teaspoon of mixed garlic. Minced garlic. And we're going to use the patented real dog measuring device for one teaspoon of garlic. Actually, I said like a lot of garlic in mine. So that's going to be quite good. Now all we need to do is a mixing device. One mixing device. We're going to mix that all up. Now that we're waiting for our chicken to be done, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a nice beef salad. Again, when you're suffering from kidney disease, one of the important things is to have enough protein in your diet. And most nutritionists and folks on the web will tell you, well, just put a hamburger on at night. Now, how often can you just eat a hamburger? Now, you might say, well, very often, but doesn't that get boring? And actually, if you do eat a lot of hamburgers, a good grilled dog tip is slice up some cucumbers. Now, cucumbers are in low potassium, but that's good for your diet. So instead of using relish or ketchup or something else or something different, put a couple of slices of cucumber on your hamburger. But we're going to show you something different with the ground beef. We're actually going to use a Thai recipe. Now, I know what you're going to say, grilled dog. If you have kidney disease, a lot of time you're just tired. You don't feel like going through all the prep that we're going to do here for our larb, which is our Thai dish. You don't have to go through all this prep. All you need to do is do something similar, ground up some beef, you can put taco seasonings in there. You can just put spices in there. Do whatever you like. But it's just a different idea to do with your ground meat. All right. Let's get started on our larb. That's our Thai dish. It's going to be a spicy cold beef salad. So the first thing I'm going to do is get our beef. So let's have some beef. All right. We're going to use one pound of this. This is a three pound. So we're going to go and cut it into a, um, a third. Oh, so, <laughs> it's gonna, we're professionals here. Wash your fingers. Okay, that's good. Get this back to the up over here. <laughs> now we're left with about half. <laughs> now, if I can have the glass bowl over there, now we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our spices for our larb. So, first, let's have ourselves some limes. We're gonna use some Mexican limes. We can use regular limes or really lime juice. So, we have our Mexican limes. There are Mexican limes right here. We're just gonna cut it out here. And we're gonna use a half a cup. So, if I can have a half a cup and my lime squeezer. And we're just gonna cut ourselves. Just the bottom of these limes. Of course, that helps because then they just stand and sit right there and they don't roll around. <laughs> You're not cutting them anymore. <laughs> there you go. See, yeah, if it has to have explode, it's going to do it when you don't cut it. 